existing trends in IT industry association with RGBV Bhopal under Tech Cube 3 on 13th and 14th July. This program is in association with RGBV and OIC. Oriental Institute is accredited by NBA AICT New Delhi. You're taking time off your busy schedule to join us today. We hope you will learn a lot today. We have lined up for you to be fruitful and engaging. I welcome our guest of honor, Dr. Dam Kupal Kashyap sir, our director, Dr. K.G. Sudhakar sir. Thank welcome the coordinator for this I event, our honorable HOD Professor Pratik Bhushku sir, and co-coordinator, Professor Shadab Khan sir, faculty members and participants. Our I would like to request request sir, Professor Shadab Khan sir to kindly give an introduction about the session. Thank you, Abhilasha ma'am. Good morning to all of you. Uh, first, I would like to request all of you kindly mute yourself because there is so much noise. Yes. Good morning to all of you. I am Shadab Pasha, co-coordinator of this uh, FDP, two days FDP, online FDP, on emerging trends in IT industry. As we all know that uh, uh, technology is uh, increasing day by day, and it is very much important to update ourselves. So, I think there is so much noise. Now it is OK. Okay, okay, sir. Okay, so uh, good morning to all of you. I welcome you all in this online two days FDP on emerging trends in IT industry. As we all know that uh, IT technology has many changes now. So uh, keeping this view in mind, uh, we just bring you about the emerging trends in IT industry. And we have two sessions, one in the morning, 10 to 12, 30 p.m. And another one is 2 to 4 p.m. So uh, I would like to welcome our uh, speaker also and all the participants once again. So kindly hand over to uh, Abhilasha ma'am. Please continue. Noise. Participants, uh, kindly mute your mic. Abhilasha, I'm kindly unmute yourself. So now am I audible? Yes, yes. OK. Uh, now allow me to briefly introduce you all to our guest and speaker of session one, Dr. Ram Kopal Kashyap, sir. He is working in Amiti University, Chhattisgarh, Raipur. He is having more than 13 years of experience. His area of research are digital image processing and machine learning. He has published more than 35 research papers, one international book, and 29 book chapters among this 13 research papers having index in Scopus. He has reviewed research papers in more than 60 SCI index journals. He is program committee member of the more than 200 international conference. He has received the Best Researcher Award and Student Choice Award. He was invited for stipend meeting at Hindenburg in Germany. Now, I would like to welcome our speaker and request him to start the session. Welcome, sir. Okay. Uh, thank you so much, ma'am. Am I audible? Yes, sir. You are audible. Hello? Yes, sir. You are audible. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, is my screen is visible to all? Uh, no, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Visible. Now it's visible. Okay. So, uh, thank you uh, so much. Uh, 
I'm Ram Gopal Kashyap. Uh, so I'm starting the session. Okay. So first of all, you all are aware what is digital image processing. But a quick recap of that. Okay. So why? First of first question is why image processing? Answer is given here to improve the pictorial information. We want to improve the pictorial information. First objective is this. Second one is to automate machine. How we can automate machine? We will see in this uh, session. Okay, it's a, a kind of hands-on session. I will demonstrate something. Okay, and uh, to improve uh, to improve the pictorial information first. Second one is to automate the machine, and third one is for efficient storage and transmission. So why image processing? To improve the pictorial information first. Second to improve and automate machines, and third. For efficient storage and transmission, how we can how we can improve pictorial information? As you can see in the picture, uh, this is a uh, medical image, and uh, some portion of this is not visible. So, with the help of image processing, as you can see in the B and C section, we are improving, and still we can improve with the help of image processing. Now, coming to how we can automate machine process by by uh, training the machine to detect faces by recognition of faces these are the ways by which we can utilize image processing and we can automate the machines so that machine can automatically detect the person to automate machine we can recognize face now for efficient storage okay for example we are storing any image and that is a noisy image or blurred image okay so it's a useless it's a wastage of uh, space so with the help of uh, uh, digital image processing we can improve the picture quality and, and we can uh, we can efficiently store and transmit the useful and uh, correct images okay and and other applications of digital image processing is also we can also use image processing for classification of images and it's a big uh, challenge to, to combine digital image processing with machine learning so we can combine image processing and machine learning and we can classify images okay as you can see in this image there are uh, four kinds of uh, animals are there so with the help of image processing and machine learning we can easily classify at the bottom row you can see tiger and giraffe and deer and elephants are well classified okay so these are the applications and another application is this okay uh, uh, we can rotate image we can process image we can translate image we can scale zoom these we can do and it's a very important task of this image processing as you can see in the slide uh, left side image there is a quality uh, loss okay with the help of image processing with the help of uh, computer program we can improve the picture quality as you can see on the right hand side okay. so uh, and another important application today we will see this also okay it's a very important session uh, how to track a person object tracking is very important and uh, we can track a person in this uh, picture you can see many people are walking and uh, we can track the person we can track vehicles we can track any object so this is the best advantage of uh, digital image processing uh, we will see this okay in hands on session now uh, uh, we are facing a problem uh, in this lockdown uh, covid 19 okay and we want to uh, we want to uh, maintain a distance we want to maintain a distance so everyone uh, Everyone is trying to implement. Uh, uh, app, uh, they are trying to make an application so that they can measure the distance between person. So here we can demonstrate in this session how we can uh, and uh, identify gap between the person. And I think is not up to the mark. Around phone calls will be. And uh, this is another example of uh, uh, another application of uh, image processing uh, in this image. Uh, in first image, it is down, and by processing, we can improve the quality. And uh, we are uh, imprinting. We are using two pictures here, as you can see in the screen. One picture, and we are mixing another picture on the first picture. So this is known as image imprinting. Okay, so we are doing this. Okay, we will see this also. And uh, for example, there there is a one single image. And uh, this is another image, and we want to perform bitwise operation on these two images, first image and second image, and we will combine together. Okay, now like this, so we can perform this. 
So these are the main applications everywhere you can apply digital image processing. Now coming to what is image digital image. Uh, so as uh, you can see on the screen, image can be defined as a two-dimensional function f of x and y. What is x, x and y? It's it's a normal intersection between two points x and y. Okay, as you can see in the uh, slide, values are there zero. 128, 244, these are the values on that particular location. And zero means zero, uh, at the bottom you can see zero is representing black color and it varies from zero to 255. And 255 represents white color. So this is a variation in the grayscale uh, image. Uh, zero means uh, absence of all the colors and uh, value is uh, black. And this is a digital image. So any image we are presenting, we can represent in the form of matrix. So matrix is very important. Now you can see in this example, uh, I am writing the text Ram Gopal, okay? And I am picking the one alphabet A. What is A? A is a combination. How your eyes visualize this A? Uh, because uh, some information is there in A. And these informations are either zero or one, okay? So we are representing those in the form of matrix or array, and we can process these all things. So uh, digital image is nothing but matri matrix that you studied in the class 10, okay? So matrix calculation we are doing. And you all are faculty members, so you all are aware what is matrix. So matrix is just two cross two uh, mat uh, row and column. Now, as you can see on the screen, uh, this is digital image, and I am representing this image in the form of matrix. So screen is not right side, displaying. Okay, screen is not visible. I am again sharing. Uh, is it with all? Yes, sir. Uh, is it not screen, visible? Uh, can we present now? Okay. Okay. Someone, Aminash, so again, joining. Again I have to present now. Okay. Okay. Participants, you are joining the session via joining link. I do not present now during session. Okay, so my screen is visible. No, sorry, visible. Visible. Oh, okay. So, so here we can see uh, alphabet. Alphabet is a representation of the matrices. So we are presenting the zero uh, alphabets in the form. Storing in the matrices. Now, as you can see on the screen, uh, this picture and uh, here the representation of pixel. So, anything, any information that is missing that is represented by 0 uh, and uh, 0 to 255. Okay. So, what is this 0 and 255? In technical world, we can say this as an intensity. If the air, uh, if something is there. That means intensity is there. Okay. For example, zero means intensity value is zero. Now I'm taking an example. This is a uh, sugar cube. Uh, you can take a spoon of sugar, and uh, if you are mixing a one spoon sugar in a tea, then intensity will be very low. If you are mixing two spoon of uh, sugar on a tea, then intensity will be high. You, if you are mix mixing ten spoon of of Q, uh, sugar cube on T uh, and uh, in the high. means it will increase from low to high. So this weakness level is known as intensity. This is a presence of color. So presence of color, if presence of color is uh, only in one spoon, then it will be very light. If you are mixing two spoon of color, then uh, color will be uh, dark. Then uh, if you are mixing uh, two spoons of color, then you may get a darker image. So this is a uh, intensity. So intensity is nothing but uh, uh, presence of color. So if, uh, as you can see in the slide, uh, this is sugar cu uh, cube, and I am mixing uh, uh, 15 to 20 sugar cubes in a tea, then uh, intensity level will be high. As you can see in this color palette, uh, here if uh, color value is down, that means intensity value is down, means color presence is less. Intensity means color presence. So presence of color is less and if I am mixing more color then it is uh, converting into darker okay. so this is about uh, what is digital image digital image is a presentation of uh, image in the form of matrix or you can say in the form of function f x y and uh, what is intensity so intensity in simple words presence of color if presence of color is uh, low 
then intensity is low you are mixing only one spoon of color then intensity is low you are mixing 10 spoons then intensity is high if you are mixing 255 then intensity is very high okay now coming to i i always keep my image for example okay so this is my image okay this is digital image so this image is a combination of three color in colors so first color is red color second color is green color and third color is blue color so any color image is a combination of red green and blue so if we are mixing 95 spoons of red color and 117 spoons of green color and 48 spoons of blue color then we get this kind of color so this gray color dark green color we are getting by mixing red color green color and blue color so each color is present from 0 to 50, 255 variations you can use any combination now coming to today's session is a hands on session so very soon i will move to that hands on session also so this is a color picture representation here three channels are there any color image you are you are able to see that is a result of uh, three colors red green and blue whenever we combine these three colors then we get a color image so in every channel there is a matrix for red color there is a some value and uh, for the green color some value is there blue color some value is there when we combine these three colors three matrices then we get this color uh, this color image so this is all about uh, color image and now coming to uh, black and white image or you can say not black and white gray skill color in black and white everything is black and white zero and one only but uh, here we can experience in the earlier black and white tv was there that was gray scale tv so as you can see in that uh, uh, slide uh, color image is a combination of three three uh, colors red color here red color is present in 22 Perfect intensity value. Green color is present in seventy-four intensity value, and blue color is present in eighteen point. Whenever we mix these three colors, then we get this color, this kind of color. Whenever we mix these three colors in intensity value, then we get this color. Now coming to monochrome or grayscale image here, this intensity varies from zero to two fifty-five, and this is only a variation of zero and uh, one, black and white. Here only we are mixing varying G, uh, black and white. Okay, you are. you are purchasing a uh, uh, color black color from market and you are trying to mix with white color for example one spoon of black color and 255 uh, 254 spoon of white color then you will get a white color if you are mixing black color in 50% quantity and white color in 50% quality then you get another color so this is a variation here at the bottom you can see this is a variation of black and white color it is also available in 255 colors at 0 to 255 means 256 colors are there now coming to very important uh, session i am not wasting time because time is very important and uh, we have very limited time so you all are aware that we can do uh, image processing with matlab but here i will do image processing with python why python you all are aware of how we can do image processing with matlab but same feature is free here so what is the benefit matlab is uh, i'm not uh, uh, criticizing any any software but i'm giving a fact here so here in python expense uh, very uh, expensive support libraries are there very uh, rich libraries here and very important thing it's a free it's open source for this you have to not pay a single rupee and matlab is a commercial software okay same task you can do with the help of python and another uh, in python libraries are there matlab library are not there but generic programming facilities are there okay so here we will use python core python with some libraries libraries like numpy matplot library and the pilo is a library then we can get better result than matlab okay so how we can start i'm starting from very beginning uh, please uh, uh, do it later i will share uh, ppt also so here uh, please open google then here you can uh, type python download when you type anaconda python download then you will get a link like this my screen is visible to all uh, sir my screen is visible yes sir it's visible is it visible okay. yes sir okay so thank you ma'am Okay, so uh, whenever you will type Anaconda Python download, then you will get this kind of link. Okay, so please click on that link. Then you will get two kind of two versions will be there. 
so python 3.7 is the latest version for so please choose this uh, python 3.7 version mm -hmm. and uh, after this uh, install when you will click on this then you will get the installation window it's a very simple then by simply clicking on next you will get this and uh, by agreeing the licensing and terms and uh, you will get this kind of screen so here the path will be there and uh, yes please here uh, advanced option will be shown on the screen so please click on this please check this add anaconda to my path variable if you will not click this option then every time you have to set path so please remember this otherwise you have to uninstall your uh, anaconda so please check this first option advanced option please check this advanced option add anaconda to my path okay and uh, now after clicking on this next button then you can uh, finish okay now please go to start menu then you will find anaconda navigator once you click on this anaconda navigator then what we can see screen like this then this kind of screen will be open then uh, by clicking on this first option jupyter notebook you will get a screen like this okay here we will program so this is a replacement of matlab i'm not criticizing any language but it's open source that's why i prefer this okay i am preferring this for hands on okay so this kind of screen you will get a uh, quick uh, introduction of this okay so this is a url okay you will get and how you can start your programming by clicking on just a new button new button is there so you have to click on new then uh, there will be a notebook option python 3 so please choose this python 3 okay once you click on this python 3 then this kind of editor will be open here you have to program each and every thing okay so this is your editor and uh, for how to run this program uh, so this is a, a name of program you can just click on this and you can uh, rename it just click on it and you can type whatever name you want to give for example dip day 1 i have typed okay so this uh, file name is dip day 1 and uh, after that uh, you can simply type for example here i am typing x is 35 plus 22 into 2 it will perform addition and multiplication and it will give me result so this is a simple programming okay there is no need to declare a variable and uh, if you want to run then uh, run button is there just click on that and you will get the output okay so this is all about uh, uh, this uh, jupyter notebook okay so i am starting this in a jupyter notebook how we can perform operation okay so so i am moving to jupyter notebook okay is my screen is visible to all yes sir okay yes sir yes okay jupiter is a, you can uh, see jupiter written there now okay okay so here i am performing x is equals to 35 plus 22 into 2 so what i am doing here here i am adding 35 plus 22 and just multiplying by 2 and uh, i am getting the value i am running this program clicking on this and run so i am getting 114 here so 35 plus uh 22 is uh, 57 57 into 2 is 100 of so, uh, 114 okay so this is a uh, for addition and this is for printing okay now uh, another example y is equals to there is no need just like c in c and c plus plus what we have to do we have to declare integer x uh, integer y then float okay nothing is required and uh, this hash hash is only for comment i have written this hash only for your help so this is not a programming this is a not a part of programming it's only for quick understanding okay so it's optional okay so y to the x minus 13 here i am performing a subtraction operation uh, then z is equals to x divided by 4 i am performing a division operation so and uh, x z1 is equals to y into z i want to print this okay so what kind of result i will get Once I am running this 114 for value of x, this uh, I subtracted this value by 30, so I am getting uh, 84, and uh, this uh, 84 divided by z value, uh, sorry, x divided by 4, then I am getting 28.5. So this is a simple calculation, math operation, and uh, if you are uh, multiplying y into z, 
then you are getting this value okay so this is our normal calculation but we will not waste of time uh, because uh, our task is to perform image processing so this is all about uh, normal processing so here we have to import numpy what is numpy so what is numpy do you know what is numpy so again i have to move to my slide okay uh, because uh, we are using this uh, numpy python library yes yes it's very nice it's a uh, library for package for uh, for uh, numerical task okay so if this is not installed then what you have to do you have to install it okay so for installing okay because uh, it's not installed in your system so please click uh, on this new button then terminal will be there okay one time you have to do terminal then once you will click then this command this you will get here you can type this command pip pip is an installation command pip install scipy yes then you can install scipy okay if you want to type uh, uh, if you want to install a numpy then what you have to do pip install numpy so this is a method only single command you have to type okay click on new then last option you have to choose terminal and in terminal once you are clicking that terminal then you are getting this kind of editor here you have to type pip install numpy once you are typing this then you will install so whatever package you want just click on uh, just type this package and you will get installed on your system so for example here we will use matlab uh, matplot library so i am installing pip install matplot library okay and pandas pandas is also there pilo is also there okay so what is numpy so numpy is only for uh, numerical computation so whenever we deal with the array because the image is a representation of array in uh, uh, we can represent a uh, image in the form of matrices so numpy is very important and numpy is only for array processing so here image is a for, uh, array so that's why we are using a numpy so numpy if you are using numpy then what is the advantage it's a, it gives you a faster calculation high level of mathematics will be there okay and one important thing is without this if you are doing a operation same operation in core python then it will take 1 to 3 1 to 2 minutes for uh, calculation of for three uh, three uh, triple loop and whenever you are using numpy then it is performing within milliseconds okay so this is advantage okay so for array processing we are using this uh, for matrices for images so many packages are there okay so i am switching over to my screen okay uh, this numpy okay so here once that is installed on your system then what you will do you have to type import numpy as np so we are importing numpy once it's it's installed and we are giving a uh, name a variable you can say object np so whenever we want to use this numpy then by using np by calling name np we can use so this is a just a, we are importing the numpy package and np.array np.array and uh, we are creating a uh, array with the help of numpy how numpy because this np is representing the numpy so np.array and we are assigning value 1 comma 2 comma 3 and uh, by simply typing a print a because we are passing this array to a and we can get this kind of result print a is equals to 1 to 3 so this is a normal array now coming to a uh, two dimensional array uh, np dot array is equals to inside parenthesis you can write uh, one two three this is the first uh, 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 row and this is second row so you can separate first row and second row so this is a simple calculation you can do with the help of numpy uh, for example you want to check uh, size of uh, uh, size of array for example np dot array is equals to this six so there is a one a uh, method dot size a dot size a dot size by size we can get size size of array is 6 and shape shape is a one column and six rows so here in this array one column is there and six rows are there are six columns one row is there okay so this is a representation so uh, we are starting uh, after this we are starting uh, our image processing so import numpy as np np dot array we are declaring an array and variables are uh, 8 9 10 and 11 12 13 so this is first row and second row uh, so here you can see 8 9 10 and 11 12 13 so this is a result now after printing you are getting this kind of result now i am reshaping so reshape function is there a dot reshape reshape 3 comma 2 that means you are changing the order it was 2 comma 3 
two rows and three columns were there and you are reshaping three three rows and two columns so by this you can use so it's a replacement of matlab simple as simple as matlab and if you want to find out the max, maximum value in array minimum value in array uh, then you can also use this numpy import numpy as np np dot array variables are here and a dot minimum by a dot minimum you can get minimum value minimum value is 5 by a dot maximum maximum value in this array is 10 and you want to perform summation of this then you a dot sum so 5 plus 10 plus uh, 22 okay so, uh, sorry 5 plus 7 uh, 5 plus 7 is 12 plus 10 22 so 22 yeah, you are getting okay so these are value our values okay so this is all about uh, numpy so numpy is a fun numerical calculation you can perform matrix operation you can rotate you can uh, uh, reshape you can crop you each and every uh, task you can perform you that on the matrix okay just like a computer graphics whatever you do in the computer graphics so you can do it here in the numpy but uh, we have a limited time so we are moving to our uh, image processing section so here i am uh, using matplot library so what is matplot library matplot library why i am using matplot library this is uh, for uh, plotting here in image we have to plot uh, bar graph we have to uh, plot uh, this uh, histogram so everything is there so for, uh, for every task package is there numpy was there for numeric calculation for array calculation and here we will perform once we are uh, performing a numerical calculation array calculation then we have to plot then uh, here we i am importing for your help i have written comments so what we are doing we are importing matplot library package so you can simply write uh, import matplot library but here inside this matplot library one small sub package is there by plot so here we are again including sub package sub, uh, sub package of matplot library so here i am writing from uh, my screen is not visible uh, sir is it is it visible i am getting one message yes, my screen is not visible okay okay so yes sir. okay okay so uh, there may be some issue in uh, anyone's uh, screen okay so so my screen is visible okay so here from matplot library so we are using matplot library and importing pyplot and pyplot as Ram sir, Ram sir. yes sir Ram sir kindly again share this no, your screen uh, is not visible yes. okay okay sir sure okay participants kindly join now this uh, using join now button uh, join every session do not present now during session, otherwise session will be great on uh, interrupting the expert. Uh, now my screen is visible? Yes sir, now visible. visible. Okay, so here what we are doing, we are using sub package of matplot library. Matplot library is a package just like numpy and inside that one dedicated package is there for python plot. So this is pyplot, so this is a way to add package from matplot library import pyplot pyplot is there as plt so as plt plt is the name of object by which we can call this all the features of pyplot so this is a syntax by this syntax we are what we are doing we are importing the matplot library and pyplot so here i am making an array or list you can say x is equal to 5 comma 2 comma 7 so this is a value for x and this is a value for y, y is equal to 2, 16, 4. And simply these two values are there. So I am using PLT. What is PLT? PLT is an object. So with the help of this, I have to plot. So PLT dot plot. Inside this PLT means pi plot, plot pack function is there. So PLT is a representing pi plot. I'm calling PLT dot plot. Then I'm passing value x and y. Then I will plot this x and y value. Okay. So this is a representation, this is a representation. So once you want to uh, get this kind of uh, figure or diagram or plots, then you have to use matplot library. Again, uh, you want to give us uh, some title, just like a MATLAB. So here, plt.title, title is equals to info. So here we have given info, info as a title of this uh, figure or chart. And you have to also assign x value and y value. So plt.y label is equals to y axis. So here we are giving y-axis, plt dot y-axis. 
and uh, same for x axis okay so this is a very simple method okay by writing single code of 6 to 7 lines you can replace matlab so here we are not replacing matlab we are expo or we are only explaining the feature that is freely available that is jupiter that is python you can explore why you are wasting uh, money for like six lakh rupees per per a system or for five systems okay so this is a replacement now coming to image processing so one by one we are process uh, moving ahead so this is again a next for uh, solution from matlab matplot library import pyplot as plt so here we are doing same we are importing matplot library and we are using same uh, subplot sub package of this pyplot and here we have to plot the bar so plt dot bar and values are this 0.25 What is this? Point two five, one point two five, two point two five. This is location. This is just like a uh, indication. So you are uh, scale. This is scale and this is value. So this is a scale. In this location, point two five location value will be fifty. Point one two five location on the scale value will be forty. I am demonstrating you. So this is point two five. This is to point two five. This is zero. This is point two five. So point two five location value will be fifty. And this is point one one here value will be this forty one point two five okay so these are the scales so here we are giving location location scale and value on which location this is scale zero to five you can take okay I am taking point two five here point two five value will be fifty and uh, label I am assigning BMW BMW and width is a point five why point five because it will take point five space. Okay, point five is this. Okay, I can reduce this. Okay, for <coughs> for example, I am reducing this point one. Then you can get smaller width. It's smaller. This is width is reduced point one. So I was keeping it point five. You can keep it point two also. Here in red screen, you can see width is point five. So it's up to you. Okay, but uh, by scaling, if you are scaling now, then please consider this also. Okay. You can uh, reduce width by 0.2. Then run. Then yes, red red bars. You can see width is just double to this. Okay, so this is a width. Okay, so uh, and number of features are available. So this is a, these are the scale on this uh, this location value will be this. So 0.75 is a scale on 0.75. This is 0.75 and value will be this 80. So this is a value. Okay. Now if you want to assign a label. Then label is equals to R D, color is equals to red, or width is equals to 0.25. Listen, X label you can assign label to X. This is X, X label days and Y label distance. Okay, so this is a X label days and Y label distance. And the title you can assign information, information and P L T dot show. This will display your figure. Okay, so this is all about uh, how to draw a bar. And uh, one last exercise uh, histogram. Then we will move to our image processing. This pure image processing. We are doing image processing. We are processing array. We are plotting. These all are are also part of image processing. So we are since morning we are in the image processing module. But all these things are required when you will process images because you have to represent your images. So you if you are not having an idea how to label, how to give a title, <coughs> uh, someone is also presenting. I think. So my screen is visible again. <coughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. No. Uh, yes, sir. It's visible. I request okay. all the participants to kindly mute yourself. Mr. Ahmed, sir, kindly mute yourself. <coughs> okay. So shall I continue? Uh, sir, just a minute. Uh, Mr. Ahmed, sir, kindly mute yourself. <coughs> It's not visible, sir. Okay. Okay. So again, I'm repeating the same same process. Okay. Okay. Uh, now my screen is visible. I think. Okay. Now it's visible. <clears throat> uh, yes, sir. It's visible now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So.
and this is the two values are there one value and second values okay and we have to plot a histogram that pst dot history is there and uh, we have to pass value population is comma bin uh, i'm getting noise uh, everyone please uh, mute uh, mic so uh, these two values i am putting here population is and uh, bin so am i audible Uh, everyone, am I? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. So here I am passing population A's and B's, and histogram type is there. Okay, you can select type and width. Okay, so uh, this is a label as you all know and uh, available. Once I am running this program, then uh, this kind of uh, label image I will get. Okay, so this is histogram. Histogram is very important. It will help you to identify uh, darkness and brightness. How? This is the dark, and uh, uh, how many pixels are there? So this part represents darker side. Okay, this part represents darker sides, and this part represents a uh, uh, brighter side. The value is from zero to one hundred twenty-eight represents darker side. Okay, so you can say, uh, see here, uh, bars are very less. Then your image is a bright. So this is a bright image. Okay, so sometimes uh, we you know. Uh, Good. So we will balance. We balance these histograms. Okay, uh, we mix the uh, uh, black and white. Okay, so we will see this. Okay, so now very important thing. I am starting this uh, image processing. So these all are very important. Now <clears throat> I am performing an another operation. Import matplotlibrary dot pylab as a plt, and I am reading the image. Yes. So this is first image processing. Earlier we were doing on uh, processing on the data. that is also part of image here i am giving a path here i am giving a path c colon users so <clears throat> one folder i created in the desktop dip and inside dip inside desktop folder name uh, is dip and uh, image name is rgk.jpg so <clears throat> what i am doing i am giving that path here so for path i just copied the desktop location and folder location and with extension i have given the path here why i am writing r why i am writing r so yes without r if i am trying to run my program then it will give me error unicode space error okay yes so i am i want to avoid that error that's why i am writing r here description i have written r converts string to raw string okay for example if any space is there any back Space and forward space is there. Then it will consider each and everything. So you are writing R, and there will be no ambiguity. It will, it will consider that string as a raw string. Okay, clear? That converts the that string. Whatever the path you are giving, that will be considered as a raw string. That's why we are giving raw. So if without this, if you will run, then you may get some error. Okay, we are not understanding your path, and some slash forward slash is there, backward slash is there, confusion is there. Someone is writing path inside a single code. Someone is writing inside double code. So there are some number of ambiguities are there. Okay, so to avoid this kind of ambiguity, just put R and PLT. PLT is a object of uh, this matplot library, and we are using that PLT dot IM read. So this function will read the this image image available in this path and this will read and this will store inside the im and whenever i use this plt dot im show then i will show this will show me the figure so this figure was there this figure was there this is the output rgk dot jpg was there okay so this is a figure that was stored inside this desktop dip folder so by using im read i can read Uh, the image and uh, i am storing inside a im and uh, you can store inside any variable okay and the plt dot i am show whatever variable you are using you have to pass here so this is a first program how to read and how to show you an image so this is a very important okay so here we are using plot library plt plt inside plt pack a plt dot pylab i am read and i am show are there okay now coming to another exercise now i want to check that matrices because uh, i have shown earlier a uh, pixel a picture is a combination of uh, uh, values intensity values i have given a, a, a lecture on intensity value intensity value is the presence of color so this by using print im im is a variable inside that we store the value okay you can choose any variable 
print i am once i am writing this this will print the values so this is printing red value green value and blue value okay so 255 value you are getting 253 value they you are getting so these all are values n number of values are there many values are there it depends on the pixel uh, resolution okay so this is a representation of uh, your image so ima your image is a matrix a big matrix big matrix matrix of uh, 2000 columns will be there okay you perform a matrix operation on 3 cross 3 so you can see this it's a not useless for you only for observation you can say uh, print i am okay because uh, many pixels are there many values are there now display by using this play function you can display the picture okay now you can uh, expect single color also so to expect single color just put colon colon and this so it will give you a single color image uh, matrix okay so image is a combination of three colors red green and blue so you can get this uh, one one channel you can say okay yes now i want to convert this show by using plt dot i am show i can show my image but there are color maps are also there so color map for example color map is there pool so i'm once i am uh, choosing this image with color map pool then i am getting this kind of image so these are available uh, color map also uh, different color map is there if you want to represent your image in different form so plt dot i am show i am one in the place of uh, pool you can write also hot so hot uh, color map you are getting you can write pink here you can write gray here whatever color map you will assign uh, color will be converted okay for example i want to display gray this was color image but i want to col use color map gray color then i am using color if you want to uh, use color pink pink then just click pink and run yes pink kind of image you will say uh, get uh, where it is okay yes okay uh, image converted okay so pink is also there gray is also there okay okay now coming to another program okay so yes here what i am doing i am uh, processing i am doing the image processing okay for that i am using matplot library pyplot uh, and the plt i am using okay inside this just like pyplot just like pyplot sub package is also there image so again i am importing these are comments it's up to you it's a, i have written this comments only for your simple understanding purpose okay it it is helping you okay you can re remove these comments whatever you are writing inside hash you can remove okay these are your codes one line two line three line four line and five lines okay and these are only for help just like uh, c++ comments okay so import matplot library uh, library dot image image is a sub package and as r i m i r i m i have given r image okay and you want to get the uh, your output in, on the screen that's why i have written matplot library in line otherwise you can get uh, a new a new window will be open okay a uh, new window will be open okay we will see in this program uh, in this exercise a new window will, will appear okay will also appear but we have wanted output here that's why i have written matplot library in line if you will not write this now then new it will be displayed on the new window new window okay so again uh, what i am doing i am importing i am read and this is a location rgk image i am importing and uh, uh, rim is a uh, uh, variable okay of uh, image sub package and i am storing in the image and same task i am doing whatever i was doing earlier okay but it's uh, with the help of image okay now you can see this image here you can see axis is also here axis is here 0 200 400 600 800 these are axis so i want to remove this axis so what i have to do plt dot axis and off value i have to give once i have written this off value then plt dot i am show dot image uh, inside that is image then this axis will remove okay so and you can save this image also okay so this is a example you can do image processing on this images okay axis off axis on you can do axis on axis off okay so these are the syntax now another package yes so n number of packages are there many different kind of operation you can do for example numpy package was there matplot library was there and now another package that is dedicated for image processing pure image processing 
another package is uh, pillow p i w l o w so i am using that package so from pil pil representing pillow package so pil import image so inside this pil also image package is there image the package is there earlier in this operation i was using matplot uh, library and my matplot uh, library image package was there same task you can do with the help of matplot library but limited features are there but i want to do advanced image processing now then i have to choose this pillow because this pillow is uh, having more features than matplot library so i am moving ahead so later uh, you can explore also tensor flow tensor flow keras these are new packages you want to perform neural network then you can do, do uh, you can include these packages also just like that because i was doing here basic image processing so i was using matplot library that was showing my figures bar histogram everything that was sufficient i can still do but i want to do uh, advanced processing so here package is there then i have to use from pil pil represents pillow import image is the sub package now with the help of this image dot open now syntax is change image dot open earlier we were using i am read but here pillow we are using open and path is same so we are reading this image and we are storing inside r image 1 r image 1 i have given a name r image 1 and i want to rotate i want to perform computer graphics task so here i am using r image dot rotate rotate minus 50 degree minus 50 why i am writing writing minus 50 because minus whenever you want to move inside a uh, clockwise direction in the clockwise direction then you have to put minus value here okay for a anti clockwise direction you can put a uh, normal value okay here we are moving in the minus clockwise that's why yes now here in matplotlib library you are able to see output on the same screen but once i will run this program now then new window will uh, will appear so rotated i am here using rotate i am taking this image rotate minus 50 degree and rotated image dot show i am running this i am not getting this output there but a uh, new window is here you can see my screen you can see rotated is uh, image everyone is it visible yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. properly yes so yes so yes so this is a rotation uh, you can perform rotation operation okay well, you can do this on minus 180 170 so you can see so in the next window yes this is a rotation so everything is there many packages are there So, and uh, you have to explore those packages only. And uh, I want to rotate transpose. Transpose is also there. Uh, rotate just like a uh, rotate transpose is there. So transpose in transport, I have to give a direct uh, angle, 90 degree, 180 degree. Uh, in your in image editing software, 90 degree, 180 is there. So it will directly converting it into 198, uh, 180 degrees. Okay. So this is all about uh, basic image processing here. Advanced image processing, you can say. Uh, now uh, we are coming to research, research-oriented uh, studies. In research-oriented studies, what you have to do, you have to find out uh, the image, image thesis. These are these not someone is doing thesis, master thesis, PhD thesis. So for that, uh, we are doing the image processing. So from PIL means the PIL pillow library is there, pillow package is there. We are importing image, and inside that uh, we are using filter. So filter sub package is also there. So I have to import also PIL import image filter. Image filter is a sub package inside the pillow package, and I am also using matplot library. You can mix many many packages. Okay, whatever you want to you mix, you can mix. Okay, you can use numpy also. You can use okay numpy, but only one variable is required. PLT. If you want to use matplot library, then PLT. You can give any name. Here I have given PLT name, NP name, image and sub package, image filter sub packages we are using. So here what I am doing, I am uh, uh, reading a package. I am opening a image and image is stored inside desktop. Uh, the IP folder is there. Lena. Dot JPG. Most popular uh, object in image processing. Lena. Okay. Lena. Dot JPG. Okay. So dot image dot open. Then it will open the image and store it here. Then uh, what I am doing, I am performing this image image dot filter. I am applying filter. What kind of filter? Image filter dot find edges. So this is available inside find filter image filter sub package. So I am just writing code image filter dot find edges. 
and uh, yes these are these i have to store in the form of array because uh, if i will not uh, convert this in the form of array na then it will sometimes it may give me error so that's why i am using a numpy numpy dot as array whatever output i am getting in is in is with as is this is a variable i am uh, copying here and pasting here okay but i am treating as as array because sometimes it may give, give error that's why i am writing this okay so image is also a type of array and i am storing this value inside i am and i am printing i am i am running this program okay once i am running this program then what i am getting this uh, is i am getting so this is a age so by simply using the filter any number of filters are there median filter is there main filter is there and many tutorials are there you have to explore you have to in the place of this you have to write any another filter name okay find edges in the place of this find edges you can write medium okay so this is a age detection canny is there sobel is there privet is there so this is a age detection okay this is converting this is giving you age why we so uh, why we work on ages because ages are very important because some someone is having a tumor then how you can identify tumor so some some circle will be there some contour will be there object will be there so brain tumor is something uh, uh, there on the brain and uh, that have uh, some space that is capturing some space so, and you want to get that with the help of mri scan or ct scan so you will get a picture what is x ray x ray is a representation of your image a bone is representation okay and if broke uh, if a uh, 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 bone is broken then uh, there will be two in the place of one bone there will be two bones okay so by the help of what is the what is there inside the body or uh, inside the picture okay now another example from pil import image i am importing this uh, pil below below and the image is a uh, so package image filter i am again doing, I'm importing the uh, sub filter sub package and uh, my plot library pi plot numpy okay i am opening the image that is stored here yes now i want to sharp yes sharp i have to sharp then in image filter i am writing image dot filter then image filter dot sharpen sharpen is a code for sharpening the image so once i am doing this and i am converting this in the form of array so as array is there and i am putting this value and uh, i am i will get a sharpen image when i will uh, display this i am one but i am a clever because uh, i want to again sharp it then again whatever value i am getting in i am one i am one i will again sharp i will again sharp this image so for n number of times you can do n number of processes you can do again and again you can call so, and you want to subplot you want to plot okay so how you will plot subplot function is there subplot and what this is representing two two is representing two in subplot you want to see those two images in a single place so two, this is a two two is representing rows so in subplot you want two rows two rows two rows one column and in one column first value will be this first value will be this image and second value will be this image okay so i am running this program i am running this okay okay so here you can see yes here you can see uh, two images you can see you two images okay so this is with the help of subplot we can do and uh, these are inside a one column and two rows are there so let me check yes one column one column in the place of column one is there and this is representing row row so row two rows are there and one column is there and first image first display this image then second display this image okay so this second one is a sharpen image sharpen means you are sharpening the image you are giving edges extra edges you are giving extra edges so here you can get uh, this is original image and you are giving sharpness sharpening is means some edges you are some finding some corners you are getting so many corners you are getting okay so this is a function subplot with the help of subplot you can easily plot and this is represented in two rows you want for example i am changing this two rows and two columns so i am giving two columns and two columns so let me check so it is converting two columns okay but uh, only two values are there so i can replace one and one one row and two 
columns. So it is representing one column, or one row, and two columns. So you can get image one row and two columns are there. And first value is this index is one and index is two. So is it clear? So this is a representation subplot. Okay, you can give you can create many rows, many columns. So this this is for row. This is for column. This is for index. Index number one, three, four, five. Okay. Now coming to uh, another image processing. Yes, you as you, you know who is he? South Indian uh, villain, I think. <laughs> so I am getting his picture. Okay, for this processing task. Okay. So yes. So this morning I have used NumPy, Matplotlib, then uh, Pilo. Okay. Now everything. Every every package has their advantages and drawbacks. Okay, many things are there. Okay, so whatever you are doing in Pilo, you can do with the help of Matplot library. But in Pilo, single line command is there, but in Matplot library, three lines you have to write. Okay, now new package is there. Computer vision because our task is to detect tracking. In this session, we will track the person. We will track a uh, car. So I am using the new package. So here I am using because time is very limited. Uh, sir told me please cover uh, within two hours all the aspects of digital image processing. So I want to give glimpse of each and every package. What is there and what is the beauty of that? So another package is there CV2. What is CV2? Import CV2. CV2 represents computer vision. It's correct. But what is two? Two is a version name. Version name is two. Yes, because uh, that means. Before CV2, there was a CV was there, but uh, functions were limited. So it's an advanced version of computer vision two. Yes, it is also very well equipped with camera, camera tracking devices, sensors. If you are performing this same operation in CV, then you have to write five lines of code. But you are using CV2, then you can do uh, same task within one line. Okay, so this is a package CV2. That's why I'm writing import CV2. Now import NumPy. Again, I'm using NumPy. Again, I'm using Matplotlib. Same task I was doing in the Matplotlib. Same task I was doing in the Pilo. Same task I'm doing in Computer Vision. Okay, CV2. Earlier I was using PLT. Earlier I was using Image. Here I'm using CV2 because I'm performing operation on CV2. Only difference is this. So CV2 dot I am read and I am reading this image image A dot JPG that is stored inside the IP in folder on the desktop and I am storing these values. Okay, can you see my screen? Yes. Okay, is it visible? Hello. Yes. Okay. Yes, sir. So this is I. Am, yes, sir. Okay. It's okay. Thank you so much. So uh, I am reading this image. Okay, and I am storing inside image and same I am access doing access of So access of is a PLT. PLT means the package of this Matplot library. With the help of this, I am doing access of PLT. Dot I am showing means Matplot library is helping me in access of. I am showing. Okay, so I am doing these operations and I am showing. And uh, CV2 yes, inside CV2 blur operation is there. So I want to blur my image. So what is the advantage of blurring? If you are doing the blur operation, if you are performing a blurring operation. And the window size is seven comma seven, so you will get that this you are putting this image IMG, and the seven comma seven is a value, smaller value you are taking, okay, and you are blurring, and you are storing this inside the blur, okay, and, and you want to show, and uh, this is a subplot one one row, two columns are there, and these are just uh, like array like uh, presentation, okay, so I am run, running this program, okay, I am running this code, yes, now you can see this was my original picture. Now see the application by blurring my how my original picture converted into this smooth. So this is a smooth operation. The smoothing I have done. I have done earlier. I I was doing the sharpening. Sharpening in sharpening. What I was doing? I was including extra edges. I was adding some edges on the corner. Here I am removing edges. So this is a sharpening operation. Okay. So this is a blur operation. So I perform. How I perform? By simple writing CV2 dot blur, CV2 dot blur, and I have given size. Okay, so this is a 
you can convert you can use these colors everything is there okay without this you can also do and uh, there is no need to write x dot ticks okay if you are getting a, any kind of uh, uh, problem in display i like display you are not getting output then you can write plt dot x ticks otherwise it's not required okay you can do write only plt dot show i am show sub plot okay you can give i title Title was original. Title was smooth. Here we have given title original. Here we have given smooth. Okay, so this is all about uh, computer vision processing. Now moving ahead, because our objective is very <coughs> uh, challenging. We have to do tracking, and um, here we have done uh, we have done sharpening, smoothing, rotation, uh, array like representation. Everything we have done. Okay. Now I am uh, importing this image plus, uh, computer vision package, then NumPy package. NumPy for only array processing, okay? Because array is a image is an array. Sometimes you may get uh, error. That's why we have used. We are including this. My plot library is a PLT, and uh, I am opening this path. Path is this. I am opening this. I am read. Now yes, very important. Create an image of it. We did this, okay? Now. This function is there. This function is there inside computer vision. What is the role of this function? This function is used for image denoising. So you are performing. You want to perform denoise operation. If you want to explore more, then just type this and uh, type on Google, because time is very limited. We have. We don't have uh, very much time because image processing uh, for, for image processing. Uh, But is uh, not sufficient, okay? And uh, I have to cover many more topics within uh, two hours. So these are parameters, okay? So this is a function inside CV two fast and L means denoising colored function is there, and these are the parameters. I am passing image, and some parameters are also there. None value window size, for example, ten, ten, seven, twenty one, okay? So these are parameters. You can explore more by just typing this, okay? so this what this function will do this function will take this image and these are the some parameters okay and this will convert my image into denoising image and i am storing inside dst and uh, plt dot subplot location is a 1 comma 2 comma 1 or you can either uh, write 1 to 1 so 1 is a row 2 is a column and first value is this original image original image was this i am passing original image and the converted image i am passing here let's run this program so once i am running this program then yes so i am getting this kind of image so this is a denoising you can see how we how handsome he is looking earlier in this image uh, many uh, wrinkles were there and uh, distortion one were there in, on the face okay so for your uh, yes can you easily identify by denoising how i can reduce noise in the first image is a full with noise and second image is a clear so this is a effect you can do with the help of photoshop but how photoshop is performing by once we are implementing in some language then only those implementation photoshop is copying okay so researcher are developing these functions you can modify these filters now let me take uh, another image okay so i am uh, taking another image okay and i am running yes now you see the difference uh, now by denoising and uh, now see uh, face difference okay so this is the effect this is a image processing so you can visualize what the power is inside in the code so this is this we can do with the help of only 6 to 7 lines of code nothing else so it's a very important okay you can develop uh, so are you able to identify the difference between two images is it visible everyone yes sir yes so this is the role of uh, uh, sharpening deblurring so only we are using our uh, here uh, denoising okay so this is the beauty of denoising okay now coming to another uh, example okay another example yes now yes here Uh, we have to perform. Time is very limited. Okay. Uh, okay. So here uh, you all know what is object tracking. Tracking. Tracking is the application of image processing. Okay. 
so once you want to track any person video surveillance in video surveillance what we are doing we are uh, observing any person for example you experienced uh, any person is there any criminal is there and you want to observe that so for that you have to do object tracking it's a very important research topic okay so here we are doing object tracking so uh, i will do this uh, in 6 to 7 lines 10 lines okay it's a very important okay so we are import numpy as np we are using import numpy as np uh, this is numpy package some some features for some features you can use this numpy another is a uh, import cv cv2 what is cv2 cv2 is a computer vision 2 so computer vision 2 we are using now coming to next time so cap cap is a variable and here cv2 dot video capture so video capture is a function inside the cv2 so once you want to capture the video once you want to capture the video that is stored inside your computer then you have to give video capture okay so by writing this video capture what you can do this video is stored inside dip folder dip folder on the desktop and name of the video is a uh, vtest.avi so i am giving the path of this uh, uh, this uh, video okay so this is a this is a path and i am capturing with the help of computer vision 2 and i am storing inside cap variable so this is a just like a image processing in the earlier image so what we were doing cv2 dot uh, read uh, read cv dot i am read so that was for image i am for image image read and here we are doing video capture so video capture is here okay now again capture uh, with uh, okay uh, the video capture from the given path okay now there is a one method you can design your own method also okay but gaussian mixture based background segmentation method is there so gaussian mixture based segmentation method is there so i i want to use that method so that method is here inside create background subtractor mog mog2 this is a function name that is in the method gaussian mixture based background segmentation method okay so once i am i want to use that method so i am giving the name of that method okay as a researcher you can design your own method and you can give function like this okay and anyone can use those methods okay you can publish those methods okay so you can modify you can improve if anything is missing in segmentation then you can improve the performance okay and i am storing this inside fgdg fg foreground background okay this is a variable now what i am doing so by these two lines it's clear i captured a video and uh, i am using gaussian mixture function to subtract the background now coming to uh, next here while while one condition is always true okay while loop i am writing yes ret ret and uh, frame is equals to capture capture dot read whatever i captured i want to read video i captured i stored inside cap variable and i want to read okay and i am giving that video inside the loop means video will run video will run till any break is not there that means i want that video unstoppable okay. that i kept this true one means condition something value i have given value true cap dot read so i am reading those videos and inside this what i am reading i am reading ret and frame so what is ret ret is a boolean variable that returns true so this ret value is what this is doing this is uh, returning you 0 or 1 0 means video is not coming and 1 means video is coming so this value is giving you alert that video is coming or not because after some time after 5 minutes of video after 10 minutes of video your video will end then it will give you zero value na then you you will not get any written value zero okay so this is an indication your video is running or not 
so it uh, this rt will give you value this is observing you is coming or not just like fan is uh, fan is rotating or not uh, car is moving vehicle is uh, wheel is moving or not just like that okay so zero or one value it will return okay and what is frame okay frame yes frame is a an image array so you all know video is a combination of images so video is a combination of images means video, what is video video is a image array so you want to capture those inside the frame so and for example you are capturing image and frame size is 30 so 30 frames in a given second one second within one second you can capture 30 30 frames your human eye can also uh, read anything you can uh, your human eye also can recognize any object if it is visible uh, yes i think someone has pres is presenting so my screen is visible to so yes, my screen is visible to yes okay, sir so again i have to okay again i am sharing okay now it is it visible now is yes, it visible sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So, yes, sir. It's so, visible. Oh, okay. Thank you so much. So, inside frame, we are storing number of frames, number of frames, whatever images we are getting now, we are getting capturing those frames and we are storing in the frame. Okay. So, these values we are getting from the video. So, we are extracting the value. Video is coming or not? And whatever video is coming, we are storing inside the frame. So, now coming to next. Now. here we are getting the stored video dot apply is a function apply is a function inside the computer vision so here by applying this what we are doing we are applying the mask what is mask mask is a just a uh, image a uh, rectangle a rectangle kind of a structure we are applying okay a rectangle kind of a image we are applying on the frame so size of frame we are keeping same so we are keeping we are applying mask on the frame whatever frame we are capturing we are applying this is a complete image foreground background we extracted okay earlier you can see here we stored inside this whatever we captured background we stored here then we gave this inside the loop and this video we are giving and on this video we are applying and we are giving the frame so this what this line is doing this is applying the mask on the background so this is applying the mask one mask is there okay and this mask value we are storing inside the fg mask okay for foreground mask okay so let us understand let's see get the value video is coming or not by returning values returning and a frame by frame we are reading each and every frame and each and every frame we can store i will demonstrate okay each and every frame we can store inside the computer okay so uh, this is also a part and uh, we each frame we are giving for first frame we are applying the second frame third frame okay because we are giving this inside the loop okay because uh, in the loop you have to run now for first candidate for second candidate for third now we applied mask now i want to show i want to show this fg mask fg mask i want to show and i want to show frame so mask and frame both i want to show in a same image so i will show and here i have given a parameter so k is equals to cv2 dot weight key weight key 30 so this 30 what is 30 30 is a seconds milliseconds okay so zero means a quick response faster faster just like a forward forward means it will in, uh, increase the speed okay motion speed motion speed is, it will in, increase so normally we are giving it uh, 30 and if you want the uh, slow frames then you can give 60 frames 100 frames so slow motion video as you can see in your camera slow motion video recording is also there so what you mean by that slow motion slow motion uh, feature is also there in your mobile phone that means slow motion means value of this millisecond is high millisecond may be 70 millisecond may be 200 okay so here i am keeping a normal value that is 30 30 frames we can observe human eyes can observe and uh, this is the delay just delay okay if k is 27 yes 
this video will run and this is uh, because uh, we are working here okay and uh, this is uh, and i want to stop then i am also programming uh, for skip skip button is there on the keyboard and uh, that value is 27 27 value is there so once you are pressing skip button then it will break it will break your video okay so this is a code now let me run this code okay and uh, sometimes it may give error okay yes yes now you can see my screen yes you can see my screen yes sir everyone yes so this is a video this is a video we are representing in the frame yes this is a video this is a video you want to observe and back side yes we are we were performing a subtraction so yes this is a tracking we are removing We are recording things and we are identifying how uh, persons are moving. Okay, so in this program, I want to capture each and every one. And uh, every uh, useless thing is uh, not shown here. Okay, so is it visible, everyone? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So this is like uh, okay. Uh, okay. Sometimes it gives error. Okay, because it, it takes too much frames, na? And uh, okay. so it is all about uh, this frame so you as you can see in this example okay two windows we are okay so, so this is a tracking okay this is a tracking okay okay sorry there is a code i have to open yes this one because it takes too much frame na, so it disturbs the settings also because it opens uh, so many frames because we are tracking and it so yes now another example now in covid in covid you want to measure the depth so people are uh, maintaining social distance or not yes uh, yes my screen is visible yes sir okay. visible so yeah yes second program i will explain this okay this is also program so you want to so you want to check people are maintaining the social distancing or not so if anything any depth is there when so many pixels are there and gap is not there then you can put a message you can put a alarm in video surveillance system also not uh, everything is not proper as you can see on the screen persons are moving but distance is not uh, uh, too far okay so they are not maintaining a distance okay so this is uh, all about uh, uh, your uh, object tracking and uh, or uh, you can also resolve uh, accident okay if two vehicles are coming and they are clashing then accident is there okay so these all are example of object tracking okay so it's a very important concept okay and uh, we can do object tracking and how many lines we have to code only 10 to 15 lines we are coding uh, to read these uh, video tracking and all those things okay so this is all about the uh, video tracking and now coming to this uh, program next program this i explained yes this covid 19 okay so here again i am also uh, importing computer vision to package okay and uh, numpy i am capturing the video i am reading the frames and i am storing i am getting value is which video is coming or not and i am storing inside the frame one okay here uh, because of our uh, density checking hue q saturation and val uh, value one color model is there so i have to convert my video into that color format so i am converting this uh, my rgb color model to gray color model okay so this is a color code this is a code cv cv2 color color change for frame one c2 dot color this is for just conversion one color medium rgb to gray scale just like that you are converting into gray now yes uh, here i am using a zeros like one array i am keeping and in that array i am putting every value 255 so for this means i am putting first column as 255 okay this is a technique now after that same task i am doing 
I am reading the video and checking of is video, video is coming or not. Uh, if value is coming zero, that means video is not coming. If value is coming one, that means video video is coming. Frame I am storing. I am converting those images into uh, gray. B G R red, green, blue to gray. Okay, image to gray. Then I am performing optical flow. Optical flow is a function. Okay, given by this for uh, Fawn back algorithm. Okay, Fawn back algorithm. So Fawn back is a name of person who has developed this optical flow. Optical flow is of measuring person density where person is going. Okay, so this is a function you can just call and these are the parameters. I have given description of these parameters at the bottom. Yes, yes. What is the role of this previous? What is next flow? You can read because uh, uh, in a given time slots. Uh, It's a very difficult to cover previous, next, everything. Okay, so many parameters are there. So I'm uh, demonstrating you this function. Okay, and so many parameters are there. And just do this, uh, this thing. Okay, just copy this and paste on Google. You may get each and everything very clear. And after some time, you can develop your own method. Also, you can improve these methods and you can do a research. You can write research papers on those topics. So this is a flow, optical flow, and we are storing inside the flow. Then yes, cut to polar. Yes, this value polar is a medium. Check so that in this video you were saying a faded, faded color, faded color we were saying faded color rather than single object we are getting a faded color. So this is a conversion from cut to polar. Polar we are converting. Polar is a faded color. Okay, in the form of faded. Okay, yes, color is faded. as you can see in this picture okay so we are observing this is a polar polar medium okay so we converted this from cart to polar medium okay then after this uh, uh, yes and the polar medium angle magnitude where direction direction to identify the direction where uh, these vectors are moving where they are going so we are capturing this inside the hsv value angle angle 180 we are keeping and this is a calculation okay so you can easily explore you can type and explore okay so i am explaining this is converting cartesian into range 2 pi 180 degree we are taking q value then normalization we are doing the normalization and by doing normalization what we are doing we are getting minimum value and we are displaying the hsv color model okay and we are displaying this hsv model here and same code we are writing here okay so once i am doing this wait key 3 then you can see speed will be faster okay speed is faster than the uh, previous one okay clear so this is a wait key okay so milliseconds we are giving milliseconds okay so this is all about video tracking okay uh, video tracking okay and close all you can display i will share these posts with you for your practice okay and the ppt also and now coming to Uh, some other aspects of uh, image processing. So here we are, we are doing a uh, uh, we uh, we were doing a uh, object tracking. Uh, we have done object tracking. We are also identified density. We tracked. Now I want to do histogram equalization. So I am reading a uh, image. Arrow arrow three is a name of the image that is stored inside DIP, and I am reading that image. I am reading that image. And I am converting. Yes, I am storing this inside the IMG. Now I want to perform histogram equalization. So histogram equalization also give you better image because in some images, uh, in some images uh, you may see some portion is a uh, darker and some is a uh, lighter. Okay, so you want to balance those images. So you will take average. So Half portion, half portion is darker and half means a brighter. So you want to balance those pixels. So for that purpose, we are doing equalization of histogram. So here I am doing equalization, equalize histogram. So this is a function equalize histo, and I am passing this value here image, and this will give me the equalized value. And uh, I am storing this value in the stack because uh, I, sometimes I may get error. That's why I'm using a array processor also. Np numpy np dot h stack. I'm using function. It will store my images step by step, pixel step by step. I'm passing image and equalization. Okay, and now coming to I am right. I'm 
I am storing this inside the rec res.png. You can store function. You can store your output as a I am write. Once you are writing I am write, then it will store. It will write, and you can give any name. Any name. Res. I have given. You can give A B C whatever you want to give. Okay, and this is a name you want to display at the top. Now I want to show. And at the showing, you can give any name and wait key. Okay, so I am running. Yes, here you can see on the screen two pictures are there. So first picture is a normal arrow picture. A E R O arrow three picture is there. Here you can see some portion are bright and some are dark, but it's a not a clearly visible. So at the right hand side, what we did is we uh, performed a histogram equalization. And that histogram equalization is balancing the color, and now you can see at the right hand side, same picture is uh, visible, and uh, its uh, quality is good. So this is a balancing of uh, intensity values. All pixels were there in the image, but uh, that was not in the form of uh, presentable form. So we perform histogram equalization. So many times we perform this histogram uh, equalization operation uh, to improve the quality of image. Okay, and this is the name of function R A M Ram. I gave the name R Ram. I gave the name of this one. So this is a yes Ram Ram. You can give any name R G K. Okay, for example, okay. So this is only a uh, representation for your purpose. Okay. so you can understand uh, what we are doing we can uh, we can equalize the images okay histogram now coming to one important yes now i want to do some image imprinting what is image imprinting if i want to mix two images if i want to you all are aware that image stenography is there image stenography is a technique to hide it as i i uh, i can give example many master many persons are uh, many master thesis are uh, related to this okay hide water marking stenography okay so stenography is a technique of hiding one image into another image okay so just like that we are what we are doing we are mixing two images two images we are mixing that is known as image imprinting so how we will do image imprinting so i am demonstrating you this okay So here we are reading CV2. I am read first image is a B image, and dimension is 800 comma 800. Okay, and I am resizing image because dimension should be same. So CV2. Resize. So CV2. Resize is the size of uh, resizing, and I'm giving this image and dimension. Dimension is 800 comma 800. Okay. So my image one is here with dimension 800 comma 800. Now I am capturing image two. Image two name is A. First image I captured B, and second name is A. Read another image. So syntax is this. I am again resizing this image. See we do two dot resize. Okay, and uh, dimension should be same, just like eight hundred comma eight hundred. Both image should be of same dimension. So I am putting dimension same for this image and for this image. Okay. Now what I am doing. i am adding those images add weighted so by using this function i can perform image imprinting and this is a value and this is a value you can put okay so uh, time is not uh, sufficient to explain uh, these parameters okay so do what weighted and you can explore more okay and if you have still doubt then you can ask i will share my mail id also okay so cv2 dot add weighted okay so here one is to what this function is doing this function is doing image both image adding i mean images and performing image imprinting mixing both images okay and uh, the cv2 dot wait key why i am doing this i am not giving a zero second time zero second time save this image i am running this program yes now you can see first image was there b image and a image now as you can see i mixed both images so this is a result of image imprinting with the help of a uh, software there is a no uh, single error is not here okay 
what you are doing? You are mixing two images and without zero error. Okay. So this is a known as image imprinting. Everyone, you can see my screen. So this is example of image imprinting. So only simple by writing simple lines. Earlier we were observing that MATLAB is very easy, but Python is uh, very uh, easy, easier than MATLAB because MATLAB you have to pay money. For Python you are not paying money and you are getting same result, same lines of code you are doing. Okay. So you can prefer Mat MATLAB and Python also, but I have chosen Python. Okay. Now coming to another example. Okay. Yes. Now another main example. Yes. I have an image. Okay. So I am moving to this my presentation. Okay. Yes. I have an image. Yes. yes. Everyone, can you see my screen? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. So this is all about uh, whatever I covered. Okay. Now I covered this, this also. Okay. Now coming to this. Okay. Now two images are there. Okay. So I am mixing these two images. Okay. This is one image. Open C is another image, and background is another image. Okay. I want to mix those images. Okay, so what I have to do? So here, what I am doing? I want to demonstrate you. Okay. Okay. So first image is A B normal background, and this open C V logo is there. So I am reading this image A B. So for reading C V two dot I am read. I am doing, and I am storing inside I M G. i am reading another image that is open cv logo so this background is this background is different ab is a background and this is a logo second image okay now what i am doing i am getting the shape and color okay okay rows and columns i am getting rows and the top left corner rows zero to okay reason of interest i am getting zero to rows and zero to columns how many rows i have and how many columns i have so this is only For identifying top left corner, so this code is uh, giving me a mask. Okay, so this is uh, giving me a mask. Okay, now what I am doing, I am converting this I am two image into gray image, gray image because we do we perform uh, processing in a gray gray image. Okay, then later on we convert. Okay, because gray image processing is a uh, uh, very efficient. Okay, because you are performing only one time but you are doing the uh, color image processing then it will take three more times because it is a combination of red green and blue so it's a it will consume more more spaces and more uh, processing power so cv2 dot now what i am doing i am converting yes i am converting this image then i am converting into gray then i am performing bitwise not operation bitwise not operation i am performing okay so bitwise not operation for mask okay and bit because i want to remove some area and i want to add some more here and some more area so i am performing bitwise and bitwise and operation i am performing on these two images roi and roi mask then let us see what's going on okay so here when i perform bitwise operation then this was the one logo this was so by you i can put any logo on the screen so this way i can do with the help of bitwise or operation it's a different from image imprinting image imprinting inside that we were mixing two images and here i am putting i am putting i am putting at the at the top okay right you can take any background and you can write you can take take the logo of the company and you can put for example you want to make a greeting card happy holi happy diwali okay happy new year so take a logo and take a, another choose another background and perform this operation then you can easily do this okay so this is a known as a bitwise and operation bitwise and operation we are performing so this is the beauty of uh, programming uh, because the time is very limited i wanted to cover so many things okay so this is a very rich library and uh, last yes Yes, bitwise and operation we performed. Okay, on reason of image one and image two mask. Okay, so everything I have explained. Now coming to last one more example. 
yes uh, yes this i want to find out ages okay so here i am importing cv2 numpy matplotlib i am importing i am reading the image then i am performing any any operation any any filter is there on the image image i am performing any operator any filtering and i am performing a subplot and in some in this subplot i am showing the image and you can give name gray whatever you want and you can get this kind of ages so this ages you can get this is any 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 ages okay any ages detection method so bell you can develop any more. now coming to very important face detection face how i can get it face okay time is very limited okay uh, i have only 15 minutes time and i have to cover a very important topic face detection so how i can de detect a face <clears throat> so i am importing numpy as an np everyone can you see my screen my screen is visible to yes, all yes sir yes sir yes sir so yes, i am okay so thank you so i am importing numpy as an np i am importing cv2 what i am doing here i am using cascade classifier what is cascade classifier you can make your own classifier okay but what i am doing i am using a xml file here i i have a already some database is there and someone captured default code for face how to recognize a face so i am using that xml file you can create your xml file you can start your web camera and you can capture your your cascade classifier you can make your own cascade classifier okay so i am using har har cascade front front face default name is there xml okay this file i am using so i am giving this inside the face so what this is doing this is showing me face this is only representing this is a face this is a face this is face only it is containing the face information this xml for information this xml i stored in the desktop Dex inside desktop vip folder is there inside that i kept this okay and i am using this okay now for eyes for eyes someone has given eye xml i xml what is the definition of eye how i looks like okay so i am using existing methods okay you can use your own method okay how to recognize cat's eye so cat's eye xml package is there you can use human eye i am using how to recognize dinosaur's eye so for dinosaur size size and your dinosaur uh, your eye size is different so different xml file will be there okay so frankly speaking i am using uh, existing xml files for face and for eye so this is a function cascade classifier this is capturing this image and giving to face cascade, uh, cascade variable i am uh, giving a name face cascade as and what i am doing here now challenge comes i have heard of face what is face and i have, uh, what is i i trained my system what is face and what is i now challenge is here i am giving my image but computer is not aware computer is not aware about rgk who is ram gopal kashyap he don't know but i am giving this image and i am i am saying computer see please detect face inside this picture now let us see how this xml file will help now i am taking this image and i am converting this image into gray form gray color image now okay now yes now coming here yes now yes okay now face cascade face dot cascade i am using this face dot cascade detect multi scale and i have given this parameter 1.3 and 5 okay these are variables you can give any variables okay you can adjust your window size okay so i am giving this uh, image and i am running some loops for my face rectangle should be there at the top then move slightly slightly complete it, it is measuring complete this loop is measuring complete picture okay now let us run yes i am running i gave my face and okay yes, it will open yes yes now you can see it is perfect it, it is started from corner and it captures my eyes nose and uh, uh, face you can see so this is a face detection okay 
you can give any face and that will recognize your properties it is a cartoon picture okay in this cartoon picture my nose one nose is clear second nose is not clear so computer is not able to recognize second nose okay so this program was not for nose this was only for face and eye okay so now check is it capturing your face and eyes or not so these kind of xml files are there you can download you can make your own xml file you can give your face and you can uh, detect faces you can uh, give your face you can give your new meaning okay so the very important concepts are there many things i wanted to cover but due to limitation of time uh, because i only uh, i am getting reminder okay there okay so i am just moving to last slide okay okay so yes is it visible okay so i yes now now coming to image processing and machine learning yes so machine learning is very important and uh, the uh, emerging area so we can mix image processing and machine learning to classify image but in a better way and you can do your phd thesis okay by combining image processing task and machine learning task okay so there is the one picture as you can see on the screen and you are writing a command and this image is given to you and what you have to do you have to classify the image so you have to write a image machine you have to take you have to capture for capturing the image you can use image processing for basic operation you can use image processing you can resize you can improve the quality you can do uh, histogram you can equalize uh, everything now you want to classify because machine machine learning also you have to classify random forest is there decision tree is there so how we will classify so i for this code i need 3 to 4 hours but time is not uh, there so i am only extending you concept okay so i want to perform machine learning task so here so from this image i will extract animal data set so animal data set i will take from image so by image dimension by putting a dot dimension a dot size a dot color a dot height okay by this i can get the features okay so from image you can get features and these features for example name of animal tiger size color is yellow height is 4 feet yes very nice these are extracted from image database in image everything was there dimension was there color was there everything was there okay so i have kept only these things okay now yes now machine learning how i will perform machine learning so i am giving color is equals to yellow Mach uh, computer please identify images whose color are images now i am mixing image processing and machine learning so it is it will process machine learning algorithm will process these image data set and it will pick color is yellow yes color is yellow tiger belongs to yellow and giraffe also belongs to yellow yes now it will show me yes color is yellow means tiger and giraffe okay now but it's a not a complete classification it's a not a complete classification i classify the animal who belongs to color uh, whose color is yellow and whose color is not yellow not color means uh, elephant and here uh, for deer reddish brown was there so color it classifies into two cat sections one tiger and giraffe second in elephant and deer i will take only two minutes another two minutes okay uh, okay thank you so much so now coming to this then again next uh, next uh, image processing we are applying machine learning okay now with the help of this machine learning we are able to classify yes color is yellow means tiger and giraffe and no means elephant and deer now another apart from color height height should be less than 6 feet yes this is the next command now height less than 6 feet tiger tiger height was 5 feet or 4 feet giraffe is uh, more than 4 feet Six feet, okay. And here you can see whose color is not yellow. Deer height is less than six, and uh, elephant height is more than six, okay. As you can see in data, okay, nineteen feet height was there for nine for giraffe and for elephant ten. So it's a more than more than uh, six feet, okay. So this is a classification. For this, we can also write code. This is a random forest. This is a decision tree. But we are merging this image processing with the help of with the help of uh, machine learning algorithms. So, so beauty 
of uh, image processing will increase by mixing machine learning with the image processing. Okay. Now, uh, thank you so much uh, for uh, patient listening. Okay, uh, because time was the limitation, and uh, I had to cover so many things. This is uh, my contact number and mail ID. If you have any doubt, then you can mail me. You can contact me. Uh, okay, thank you so much, sir. Uh, so, okay, thank you. That's from my side, uh, sir. Okay. Uh, thank you, sir. Yes, ma'am. Uh, sir, can we move on to the question and answer session? Yes, sure, ma'am. Please. Okay. Uh, so I would request the participants to unmute yourself and ask the questions. Sir, my question. Sir, thank you so much. It was a wonderful session. Sir, uh, I want to ask, like, while giving the address of the image, uh, you initialize it with R. Like before the path, you mentioned R. Yes, Can you please explain R once again? Yes, ma'am. Actually, when we give a normal path, na, then it will not consider any space. For example, you are giving a folder name image processing, and in that folder name, there is a space between image and processing. So, if you will give that path to this uh, IM read, then it will give you error. Something is it will not count spaces. For reading that is as a raw string, each and everything we will read. Any uh, passage is there, any uh, double quote is there. So for smooth reading, as it is reading, we are uh, using R. So R is a raw string. Whatever you are giving, for example, we are giving a folder name uh, image space processing. And once you are giving this path to this, na, then it will give you error, okay? Because there should be a continuation. For removing this error, we are giving up R code. Okay, so this is for R string. So it helps your time and your processing because uh, it read your uh, complete path. I think I hope I cleared your doubt, ma'am. Yes. yes, sir. Thank you. Yes. Any is there anyone question? who is having doubt? Hello. Hello. Yes. Uh, good afternoon, sir. Yes, uh, yes, sir. Good uh, afternoon, sir. Sir, uh, one term that you have yes, used sir. in the program that is R, that is R E T. The term is R E T, and it was explained that it is a Boolean variable uh, that is going to hold either zero or one. Sir, uh, is this a yes. predefined variable? Is this a predefined variable? So you can be different but, uh, for returning the value. You uh, we normally often use this RET and frame. You can give your uh, your name. Uh, you can give your name, for example, Oriental. You can give okay. It will also work okay. So it's uh, not a user defined okay. It takes only two variables. Uh, first variable is return okay. Sometimes we get errors. That that's why we are using the RET that is given by OpenCV. So we prefer this RET, uh, but you can change. There is no, uh, no predefined terms. And for frame, you can also give another name. For frame, you can give your name. But for easily identification, we give a relevant name for uh, easy processing. Because in computer science, for example, in a variable name, for the variable name, I kept nam R, G, K. So it's a very difficult, for, so that I can easily understand it is returning something. That's why I, I, uh, I am writing RET. You can change. But nowhere in the code, uh, RET is going to hold is either 0 or 1. So how does uh, how do we come to know whether RET is a Boolean variable or not? OK, so RET, when we are reading now this syntax, now I am showing you. Yes. When we are reading this, so in this reading, from this function, we are getting two times of uh, two types, yes, yes. Yes, sir. Whenever right. we capture this this cap dot create, so yeah. this video when we are reading this video, then this is uh, uh, this from this video we can capture frames and we can capture written values. So these written values are is only showing your uh, processor that video is coming. If this video value is going to zero, that means uh, this value is not uh, uh, this is not able to display you video. Okay. So this is only for your inner video processing. Okay, inner video processing. Uh, you are capturing images and some objects you are not getting. You are not able to uh, 
you have started your television and you are not able to watch anything so you get you should get some kind of uh, response from the processor for that purpose open cv has given this feature and that is given inside the cap cap dot read yeah, cap, cap dot read. yes so you can change name of this return and we are giving this return only to computer without this computer is also computer is also yes i i agree we are not uh, showing you this return value and frame frame only we are using and return is only for computer purpose no way here we are using this return but computer is getting this value is still am alive or not camera is working or not so it's for internal processing okay. so some internal processing is going on or based on that internal yes. uh, processing yes. the value is being hold yes. by reg mm -hmm. Yes, okay, yes. Thank, 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 thank you. Because there are. Oh, thank you so yes. much, sir. Thank you so much. Sir. Any more question? Hello. Hello. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, um, is there any more question? Um, I guess new question is there. Uh, so I would like to request Professor Bhavda, ma'am, for the deliverance of the vote of thanks. Okay. Thank you, Abhilasha, ma'am, uh, and good afternoon, everyone. I, Bhavna Sarkar, on behalf of IIT Department, Oriental Institute of Science and Technology, uh, extend a very hearty uh, vote of thanks to our speaker, Dr. Ram Gopal Kashyap, uh, who has given his valuable time. And thank you so much for uh, making this session very interesting by giving various examples on how image is being proce processed and uh, wonderful example of face detection. Uh, thank you so much for making this uh, session very meaningful and interesting. And I would also like to express a profound gratitude to our director, Dr. KJ Sudhakar sir, and uh, our dean, Dr. Sanjeev Sharma sir, for his presence. And I would also like to thank our HOD as well as uh, coordinator of this FTP, uh, Professor Pratik Puchke sir, for his uh, immense support and guidance. And I'm happy to express a vote of thanks to all the participants. Uh, who are gathered together and make this session a very grand success. <laughs>